What is up, everybody? Is I, Ronan, and today we're learning to play Cubics. Though there is a serious lack of cube in the majority. It's like that. That's just a sphere. For Jan, the cubic seed is just a sphere. So I'm getting somewhat confused by that. But you know what? Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord, is a cube, so it's fine. But uh, yeah, just uh. I think this is a pretty basic cube deck. We're using some of the new support, that being Cubic Ascension, which lets us get all the Vajam and Cubic Dharma. A lot of people are excited about it because it's an actual like draw spell for them. But uh, yeah, I've never touched this deck before. I did one test game just to make sure it works-ish, and it worked-ish. So uh, yeah. I, I just hope this goes well. Hopefully I'll learn about Cubics, because the only thing I know is Dews is the best. And if Crimson Nova touches you, you die. Yeah, he's actually a really scary card now that I've actually read him. But uh, yeah, so just going to be doing three games, as per usual. Uh, hopefully we learn a little bit about the deck. I'll see you guys in the first game. All right, welcome to the first game with Waffles. We are Spheres. Because you see, he thinks, here's my logic on the spheres. So he thinks that I'm doing spheres to throw him off of cubics. And so it's like, obviously he's playing cubics. But what if he's double bluffing me and he's actually not playing cubics? And he's just trying to trick me. So I'm preparing for anything that is not cubics. Yeah, I am far ahead of your game, Waffles. And, uh... I think, I think this is game. I think this combination of cards is game because, like, uh, summon Dooza, send the Karma, use the Karma to search the Dark Nova, reveal the Dark Nova to summon it, Cubic Wave one of his monsters, and. Yeah, I actually think that's game, but hey, our opponent's playing Fluffles. Unfortunately, going first. Not at all what Fluffles want to be doing, if you didn't know. Fluffles are all about that OTK. But not today. Today, we are all about that OTK. Okay, um, yeah, I, I got a new computer. I'm very excited about it. It does that sometimes. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, it's it's not a big deal though. But let's see, Fluffle Sheep. I've never seen that Fluffle. Uh, so it special summons itself. So he's fusion sub subbing for what? Uh, ooh, fright for Krogan. That's neat. What's up, Kraken? You have three thousand defense points. That's actually kind of scary. Can you do anything else with your turn one? I certainly hope not, because that would make me sad. Waffles. Okay, so... We got ourselves a set. Yeah, let's see. Cubic Ascension. Let, uh... Okay, his life points are not at least 2,000 higher, so... Let's go ahead and summon ourselves a Dooza. Yes, Dooza. Uh, no. We will be sending ourselves, uh, sending ourselves a cube at Karma. Now we will use the Karma. No. In order to add the Crimson Nova. Now we'll special summon Crimson Nova by revealing, uh, Wave, Dharma, and Karma. I think that's correct, right? Now we will... Go ahead and activate Wave, I guess. Wave is fun. And it gains half those attack points. So, woot woot. Let's see. Uh, I could put a Cubic Counter on him. And we can get even bigger. Yes. We choose Crimson Nova. No. 
And now we just send all these Vijam to get even bigger. We are a large lad, to say the least. We could wave here. Probably not worth it, though. So, um... Battle? I think this is correct? Um, no. I think I just kill. So yeah, I can just do it again. Oh, okay. You probably... No. Okay, then. Um, that was a thing. Admittedly, it was against going first fluffles, so... I wouldn't be impressed with myself here, but... Just, um... I didn't actually expect the OTK. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure I just opened the perfect hand there. That's probably one in a million type thing, honestly. Like, don't don't take that to heart. But hey, we already got a win. Um, so Duza plus being able to summon Nova is gameish, I guess. But uh, yeah. So one win down. Hopefully things can do go well. I'll see you guys in the second game. Right, welcome to game two of Tombo Breaker. Ooh, and this time we lost the dice roll. Or the rock, paper, scissors. Let's see, what do we got, hand? Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, I think I can do a thing. So we normal summon the normal cubic. And we gotta send something else this time, okay? We cannot just send one thing uh unification we'll send unification for the defense oh hey it's hard like joe i watch him on youtubes uh let's go ahead and send our vajams i guess you know vajam is a good thing to send we have a big we have a sizable cubic vessel uh, yeah, and it just stays. Um, okay, pretty dope. Uh, sick. We'll set this to look scary. And just pass turn. Now, if we can summon... Oh, if we can resolve Cubic Karma's second effect, I would be so hyped for that. I would love that. That'd be so nuts. Like, this dude is pretty nuts. It's very big. He's a, he's a sizable lad. Looks like we're playing in Shadows, though. Got some, uh... They got their Construct back. Construct is a good, good card. Let's see, what do you send as your light target? Oh. ABC Shadow. Neat. And he's gonna send my... Oh, he just switched it to defense mode. I guess he can beat over it now, so that's smart. And now he gets another draw, I think. Because he sent something to the graveyard. Oh no, he's just popping a spell trap. The face down? I could see it being the face down. Oh no, he popped my cubic karma. What a fiend. What an absolute... What an absolute jerk. Uh, But no, I still think we're in very good position here, actually. Like, when he destroys it, we can use unification to float into another Duza. And then we can get our second cubic karma into the graveyard, so... Yeah, it's pretty good. And we still have a wave in hand, so... I'm satisfied. I don't know about you. So yeah, Dooza dies. And Unification will let us summon... Ooh, that could be a play. This could be a play. Yeah, I actually kind of like this. I'm a fan of this move. Because if he destroys it, we'll just recur all our monsters. <laughs> I really hope he doesn't read in Dora, though. Because if he does, I will be so sad. Okay, yeah, he, he... He can read. Can confirm. Can read. Uh, we don't have the cubit cards to... 
really go at it is the issue here. Uh, Dooza, I guess? Uh, normal Dooza? Yes, Dooza. To send... Mm. Sure, we'll send another unification. Uh, I could. I very well could. But I'm going to be activating this cubic wave instead. Uh, I can already beat over the B. So I'll give some points to Indora. Um, let's see. The attack of that monster becomes half its current attack. Uh... Yeah. Oh, I didn't quite read that. But you know what? It's fine. We can just attack over the Shadow. This construct is kind of spooks. We're not a fan of that. We don't want to be spooked. So he's got the fusion back. What can we do here? We can activate the cubic wave. No, I'd rather hold back on the wave. So I feel like I misplayed somewhere here. Not quite sure where, though. Maybe this is just the universe returning to its natural order of things. But it looks like he's about to make a... Buster Drake. So go him. What a champ, right? I and mean, we have a unification in the graveyard, so it's fine, but still. If he does make the Buster Drake, I imagine he banishes Indora, then attacks into Dooza, and then I can unification, so that's fine. Or he's just... well, he can still make it. No, he can't? Well, unless he goes into Nightmare Mermaid. Nightmare Mermaid could be a very, very scary play here. Yeah, Indoor is kind of cool whenever it's destroyed, or let me make sure. If this is a special summon from the hand, play to damage. If this card in your possession is sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card, battle or card effect, target up to three cubic monsters in your grave, special summon them. Yeah, so it's pretty good. Uh, if we had been able to keep cubic karma on the field, it would have been even more hilarious, though. Because we would have specialed a Vajam with a cubic monster effect, and the Vajam summon would have halved his life points. So it would have been absolutely hilarious. <sighs> I mean, luckily we can bait out the Buster Drake with the waves next turn, so it's fine. Oh yeah, he's going to reshuffle Indora, I guess. I mean, I could still use Unification. So I will. Uh, yeah, I, I still want Indora. Stop that. You're being rude. I, I didn't realize Unification could do that. Just Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Just reshuffle it and I can just give back. Ah, uh, it looks like we're getting plant comboed. Um, log, inform me. Okay, he added Super Poly. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, I was looking forward to some shit all ABCs, but all I am seeing is construct for I don't know regular spam. Now let me guess, you're gonna drop one for your Buster Drake and banish the Endora, aren't you? That's your play, isn't it? Yep. Huh. <sighs> I mean, you drop Del Shadow Fusion, so that's recoverable, I guess? So, I mean, you're certainly not in the worst position ever. Uh, but we're taking the big damage here. Definitely the big damage, but not enough damage. And I think we can work this out next turn. And because we, we can now use Ascension of the Cubic Lords. Huh. Awesome. But first, hit him with the cubic wave. Let's see, cubic wave. 
equal to the number of those banished cubics. So one, two, three. Uh, we're not really worried about the cobra, so we can just give those cubic counters. It's whatever. I imagine he'll tag out here, though, to dodge. Like, what are you going to do, Tombow Breaker? Oh, no, I just get my cubic counters. So, yeah, they lost all of their abilities. Now, what can we do? Let's see, send a cubic card from your hand to the graveyard if you do draw a card. Okay. I... I have an idea. Normal Summoner Monk, it will switch to defense mode. We drop the cubic the cubic Dharma to summon a... I think we still have a Dooza in deck. That's a summon a Dooza. Then we use the Dooza effect to get something back into... We're basically just adding a spell card to our hand at this point. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, cubic wave is good. Now we activate the Dharma to select this seed. Oh, it's cubic monsters. Well, I mean, we still record it. Uh, so that's fine. We can put more counters. Don't really need to. Oh. Can we not attack? Uh, okay, yes. Yeah, Summoner Monk says we cannot attack. Good to know. But we're in a pretty alright spot here. Oh, he can still... I guess he can still tag out then? Not quite sure why, but... Okay. Thought I negated your abilities. But I, I guess I was just wrong. Oh uh, yeah, this game has not been going great so far. Uh, I feel like I misplayed somewhere, but I don't know where. So someone tell me where I misplayed. Because I just, I just don't know. I definitely lucked into that first game. Alright, underclock. Um... You know, it's weird, now that I think about it. I've never really read an ABC card. Let's see. So they all have the Union effect. Unaffected by monster effects. Unaffected by spell effects. Oh. Oh wait, he's going for the OTK, I suppose? So he's going to switch B into attack mode. Put it into defense mode, and then he's just going to go to town, I suppose? I, I don't know what else he does here, so. I mean, I guess that's just our loss, unless he does something super freaking stupid here. Like, we can't, we can't win right now. I, I did something. I don't know what I did, but it was something. Huh, but, uh, yeah. GG, Tombow Breaker. Um... I wish you were actually playing Shadals. You, you just splashed them in, though. Huh, and, and that's disappointing. You, know, you, you disappointed me, Tombow Breaker, but you are... You clearly know your deck better, at least. I'll say that much, and now you're just styling. Don't know why you want to style. I don't think you have to. But you are. The, the styling is very real here. Uh, so he switches his... Or we just take the big hit. I... Oh, fair. Fair enough. Or he just doesn't. Okay. Interesting choice. Let's see, what do we even get here? Uh, whoops, well, well, GG. Oh, the, I guess he accidentally skipped something, but, uh, you know, he had that one in the bag. So that is Tom Bowbreaker's win.
Good job, Tom Obreaker. I hope you eventually learn how to spell Kuka Combo Breaker correctly someday. Just like these cubics will learn from their good boy and start to become cubes. Still a distinct lack of cube in this archetype. But, uh, alright, so that's one win, one loss. We're going into the last game here, and we're gonna win. Just you watch. I will... I'll figure this out. I'll see you guys there. Right, we're going to the final duel with a series of dots. Um, okay, dude, I guess you're keeping your deck a mystery, which I can respect. And this is... This hand's really good. This is just a really good hand. If he summons a monster face up, I think we might have this, actually. Alright, so setting free. Pass. Hmm. Okay. I think I have an idea. So first we summon our Dooza. Use Dooza for the search. Let's see. Anti-spell. Okay, then. Let's see. We will be sending the cubic... Cubic Karma. Uh, we'll activate the cubic... Activate our cubic karma to search the Crimson Nova. Now we will be special summoning Crimson Nova by revealing Indra, Wave, and Unification. Like that. Now, let's see, is there anything else we can do here? Uh, so we'll be... I think this is maybe game. Or, no, not quite, but it does put us pretty close. Alright. So yeah, we just did a little bit. Um, we were close to game. Now we will set... End our turn. Then we each take 3,000 burn. So yeah, not bad. Oh, I did, probably should have set another wave. Huh, <sighs> okay. But, I, I really do think we have this next turn. I'm fairly convinced. So, uh, we got the Melody of Awakening Dragon. Why did you ash the uh, couldn't you have just ashed the Dooza? That was 100% an option to you. And you chose not to ash the Dooza. What? That's so weird. Like, if you had ashed Dooza, my, all my plays would have been done. Right, but now he's just adding the ritual monsters, 60 card ritual blue eyes, so that's neat. Now he's summoning the alternative. And I believe the alternative can beat the Crimson Nova. I'm not sure though. Uh, unaffected by other monsters activate effects, his original attack is 3,000 or less. So, okay, he can't he can't get rid of the uh, Crimson Nova. Good to know. And I think this is game. Uh, we'll go ahead and set this just in case. Battle? Like, we could have just ended our turn, but... I'm happy to crash. I don't mind crashing here. Because now we can just Dooza for game. Yay, Dooza. Pulling through. Could have. Oh, back to the front. Hmm. Uh.
let's see. For each monster of a different name. No. That's not worth it. Uh, no. Alright then, that was a rather unfortunate failure on our part. Uh, let's see, we can go ahead and set up some defense though. We can set up some defense. I didn't realize he would have back to the front. That was a good set on his part. We could have ended our turn, but we didn't. We got greedy, and that's my fault. I'll say that. <sighs> the greed was too great, to put it simply. So he's setting one. He's subject to his own deal, so... Ugh. Sucks for him. And we will be... set up pretty well next turn, I think. Uh, we got... All our stuff, all the good stuff set, so. Whew, alright. As long as that's not like a mirror force or something, we should be fine. Okay, so what do we do? What do we do? Uh. Oh. Let's see, we could one for one, get the jam, and then hit him with the cubic wave. I don't know, tough call, actually. Tough call. I guess I'll go ahead and search a Crimson Nova. I don't mind searching that. We can't special summon it, though. So, for now, I'll go ahead one for one. Dropping the Indra to summon out the Jam. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I really can't do anything else right now. I'll just set the wave and end my turn. Oh, if I hadn't gotten greedy, I would have had this in the bag. Oh, greed's my fault. Uh, looks like he's about to summon Chaos Max for maximum flare. Or just Chaos Dragon? Uh, okay. Interesting choice. Wait, doesn't that mean I live now? Because he can't attack because he popped me. That doesn't gain attack points, so... Yeah, I guess I'm still in this. Hey, Cubic Karma, nice. Uh... If only we could send it to the graveyard. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, we probably just lose this turn. I got greedy. That was my bad. Sorry, guys. I should have... Should have very much had this. But I threw it away. Because I wanted to be stylish. Yeah, GG, dude. Good game. I choked that. So hard. God. Wow. I mean, like... Wow. I just I just didn't expect that out of myself, honestly. But uh, I guess weirder things have happened. So, uh, yeah, that was Cubix. Um, I mean, it's a deck. It kind of feels... It can kill very fast and very hard. But uh, in general, I just didn't find it that interesting, I guess. I mean, I know that's a lot of decks, but this one in particular was weird for me, if that makes sense. It just... It feels like the only two good cards are Crimson, Nova, and Dooza, and you, ha and you don't want to open with a Crimson Nova unless you have Dooza and a bunch of other different cubic cards. So that says you don't run free as, but then the free as are really good, so it says you do, and it's just... Boy, that was that was weird. A weird experience for me, I think. Uh, probably won't be revisiting this deck. It just wasn't that 
neat, really. But uh, let me know what you think. Is there Are there ways that this deck could have been better? Did I just seriously misplay? Because I know I seriously misplayed, actually, in this game. But in the other games, did I seriously misplay? Uh, can I be better? Is there a more fun build of this? I want to know. Okay, you cubic geniuses that are in the chat. Or not the chat, the comments. Why did I say chat? I don't know. But I did. So, uh, yeah. Like if you liked. Comment if you have something to say. And subscribe if you want some more. This has been Ronin. Signing off.